Rohan is a delivery boy who delivers packets every day. The biggest challenge he faces every day is to remember customer's name where he needs to deliver packets. Now, he came up with a solution by delivering packets through addresses. What he does now, he choose one of the address to deliver packets and from using this address, he keeps delivering the packets to other addresses. The similar process in programming is done by pointers. So, what are these pointers? What are their uses? And how we are going to use them in programming? We will explore the answers of all those questions in the series of videos. Let's start this video. Pointers are those variables where we store the addresses of other variables. Where the normal variable is used to store data only. Whereas the pointer variable are used to store address of other variables. Let's assume John is a normal variable whose address is 10010 and having a value of 100. Whereas PTR is a pointer variable having some random address which we can use to store the address of John. Now here we can differentiate how normal variable is used to store data where pointer variable is used to store addresses. Let's see how we can use them in programming for which we will take three steps. A syntax to declare a normal variable looks like data type and then the name of a variable. Variable can be of type care, int and float. Whereas the syntax to declare pointer variable looks like data type and then a variable name. An asterisk symbol before name of a pointer and this is the asterisk symbol that differentiate the declaration of normal variable and pointer variable. Like normal variable, they can also be type of int, care and float. So in first step, we have seen how to declare pointer variable. Let's move to the second step. After declaring a pointer variable, now we have to see how we can store an address into pointer variable. Let's take an int type variable and give it a name John and assign it some value. Also declare int type pointer variable. Now we have to understand how to store an address of John into pointer variable. To do this, we have to use ampersand operator. Whenever this ampersand symbol is used before variable name, we can get address of that variable. We can get address of John by placing ampersand before its name. Now we can store this address into pointer. By doing so, our pointer variable is now pointing on John because it has John's address. Now this becomes our step number two. So far we have learned how to declare a pointer and how to store other variables address into pointer. Let's proceed to third and the final step. A normal variable which is John contains two properties. First, it is having its address and second, it has some value. Now the question arises, how many properties does pointers contain? Let's check this. By printing a name of a pointer, we can get the value of pointer, which is nothing but an address of John. By printing m person ptr, we can get the address of pointer that is property number 2. Now, if we want to access the value at where the pointer is pointing, how we can find the value? Right now, pointer is pointing on John because PTR is having John's address. To get the value where pointer is pointing, we can do this by using asterisk operator. It is also called dereferencing operator. By placing asterisk before pointer's name, we can easily access the value where the pointer is pointing. By printing 
a strict point PTR, we can get the value of John. By using this dereferencing operator, we can also manipulate value as well as access it. Now, how to manipulate? Let's look into it. Assign a strict PTR a value 100. As we do this, the value of John changes. And now printing John's value, we will get 100, which was 10 earlier. Here we have seen that using the referencing operator, we can also manipulate values as well as accessing those. Let's understand this by using an example. Open Visual Studio Code and declare an in-type variable named John and assign it a value 10. In next line, declare an in-type pointer variable as well. Initialize pointer with John's address. Now pointer PTR is pointing on John. Let's print John's value and address. To print John's address, we have to use M% operator. We will use it before John's name. Let's save and run it. Here we can see in the output window that the value of John is 10 and its address is 642296, which is random value. Now let's quickly print the value and address of pointer PTR. Save and run it. Here is the output and we can see that the value of PTR is same as the address of John, which we have understood throughout this video. And the address is again random value. And now let's look at the value where pointer is pointing, which we can see by using dereferencing operator. Place asterisk before PTR and print it. Save and run. Here we can see that using the dereferencing operator on the pointer, we can access the value of John. We can see the output is 10. Using asterisk operator, we have accessed the value where pointer is pointing. Apart from accessing, we can also manipulate the value where pointer is pointing. To do this, we have to simply assign asterisk PTR a value 100. And now if we print the value of John, we will get 100 instead of 10. Let's save and run it. Here we can see that the value of John has changed. So this is the power of pointer, which can change the value of other variable just by pointing it. So this is all in this video. Let's quickly conclude what we have learned in this video so far. In first step, we have seen the declaration of pointer and we have seen how different is the declaration of a normal variable from pointer variable. In the second step, we have learned the initialization of pointer in which we have seen how to store the address of another variable into pointer for which we had used M% operator. In the third and final step, we have seen how to access the value where pointer is pointing for which we have taken asterisk operator or dereferencing operator. So this is all in this video. In the coming video, we will also look more about pointers. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching this video.